The boat that's right behind you is a Pursuit ST310. It is a big thing. So you can do straight down dives. The roominess of these boats, they're very well thought out. Check this out! <laughs> this is called Flyboard! Hi, Eric Kyle, your publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine, and I'm excited to be down at the Annapolis Inwater Powerboat Show having a wonderful time. As a matter of fact, I'm wandering around, I'm looking for some exciting things to report on, and I ran across our friends over at Waterway Guide. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. First name is Bob? No, Doug. Doug. He's Bob. He's Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure to see you again, Doug. Tell us a little bit about Waterway Guide. What do you guys have to offer with these guides? Uh, we have six guides that pretty well cover the whole East Coast, uh, Eastport, Maine to Brownsville, Texas. Okay. We do all the Great Lakes and we have a guide for the Bahamas. Ah. Hey, we've been in business in 1947 and uh, I personally work five boat shows a year for the Waterway Guide, Dozer Media and Skipper Bob's is our other guide that uh, we sell out of the booth okay. and the shows. And this particular show, uh, the powerboat show and the Napa sailboat show have been just fantastic. We got lucky with the weather. Yeah. And we've actually sold out of some of our guides, so we're shipping them for free at the boat show prices, and the people seem to like it. You gotta love that. Now, when you say it's a guide, tell me about some of the information that's in one of these. All right. Uh, it, page by page, uh, we cover the Chesapeake Bay as an example. Uh, it's color-coded by section, so we start with the Delaware Bay, Delaware River. We tell you everything about the marinas, where you can anchor. We put the marinas in, whether they're advertising with us or not, because okay. the customer needs to know what's available for dockage, where he can get his gas, diesel, fuel, what kind of services they provide, what is ashore, these small towns, can they buy groceries, is there a post office, uh, what about restaurant dining, we tell you all about that, we give you the GPS waypoints so you can get into these uh, ports, the little small towns, and then we go down the eastern shore of the bay, up the western shore of the bay, cover all the rivers, and they're about 400 to 500 pages in each guide. It's just wow. full of information. We have aerial photographs to give you a visual about what you're looking at before mm -hmm. you get there, mm -hmm. and we give you the charts. Yeah. Not to be used for navigation, but we show you the charts so you know which charts to use for this particular area you're Perfect. boating in. All right, is that like a little NOAA chart snapshot type thing? Yes, it is. Okay, now you're talking about the Chesapeake. We're from the Great Lakes. You have one of these for the Great Lakes area? Yes, we do. Okay. And uh, it covers all the Great Lakes. It co covers the canal systems. Okay, good. Uh, we've got the uh, Trent Severn uh, yeah. Waterway uh, canal system. Yeah. system. We, we cover uh, what's ashore, what's available for marinas, uh, what the GPS waypoints to get into the towns. Uh, we update them annually. We have okay. cruising editors that we pay uh, to update them each year so the information is as accurate as possible. And usually a guide will last for several years, maybe longer. Uh, the Great Lakes, not a whole lot of changes from a navigation standpoint. Right, right. But the marinas change hands, restaurants come and go or change hands. Right. And uh, But we update this information so you have the most accurate at the time. One thing I see, Doug, that I like about having one of these is I get a, an email from you guys about updates constantly, especially for people who are like maybe doing the um, the Great Loop. Yes, we will do that. We come out every Thursday morning uh, with uh, updates to the guides, yeah. and we know who who has purchased what guides right. because we keep a record of it. So we'll send them those updates, and they're very valuable. People like them, and they can email us back, too, with information that we might want to know, good, good, and good. we appreciate that, too. So anybody who's an extended cruiser, whether you're on the East Coast or up in the Great Lakes area, has got to have one of these guides on their boat to have the most updated information about where to go, how to get there, and what's happening when you're there. Yeah, it's, they're used for planning. Yeah. And you can say, well, I want to go to this town. Uh, it's 50 miles away. How do I get there? What charts do I use? When I get there, can I get into a marina? Yeah. It gives you all that information so you can plan your voyage uh, before you go so you know ahead of time yeah. what you need to do and what's a fallback plan. Yeah. And that's what the guide is so useful for. Yeah. 
because you know what's available. Okay, okay. So price point, how much are one of these guides? Uh, normally they're $39.95 plus tax. We sell them at the boat show for $33 and you save $9 a guide. I like it, I like it. So come on down to the Annapolis Boat Show if you wanna buy a guide here. And if we can't get here, Doug, how am I gonna buy this online? Uh, well, our headquarters is in Deltaville, Virginia. You go online, you pick out the guide you want, you can use a credit card and we'll ship it to you. Perfect, the uh, name of the website then? Uh, www.waterway.com. Just waterway.com, not waterway guide, just waterway.com. Waterway Waterwayguide.com. Perfect. Oh I'm getting tired. This is my uh, third boat show in a month. <laughs> All right, you guys, make sure you stop on by to the Annapolis Boat Show and see my man Bob or Doug. They can hook you up at the Waterway Guide right here at a discounted price or go by www.waterwayguide.com and you can purchase one from their main office down in Deltaville. Doug, thank you so much. You're welcome. Greatly appreciate it. You guys, we'll see you out on the water.